Welcome back to IGN Live here at E3 2018. And ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is my last game demo of the show here on the IGN stage. And it's a game I'm very curious to learn more about. Oliver is here to show us World War Z. Yes, indeed. Thank you to the show. Now, this is a game that was unveiled at the Game Awards last December. Yeah. But there's still not a lot of information about it out there. Let's try and change that. OK. What kind of game is this? So World War Z is a zombie game. Of course. But we're talking uh, four-player co-op mm. uh, multiplayer. Mm. So um, what makes it unique in particular is the hordes. So right. in this game, it's all about facing massive numbers of enemies all at the same time. So uh, in the New York level, you can see there, you'll be facing about 500 zombies all at the same time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And there's a defensive play involved in it. So it's a very unique game. So four-player co-op. Yeah. Uh, who are, are they four set characters? Are you creating a character? Who are these people? The story has is, is been really important to us on this game. And uh, uh, we're self-publishing. So we went right. to Paramount and acquired the license um, because we felt that the movie offered the intensity uh, that we wanted in a game. Okay. So instead of following the events in the movie, we've decided to create our own stories. Uh, we have three episodes, cool. one in uh, New York, which is on now. You've got one in Moscow and one in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Each episode has three chapters, which charts the story of these survivors. And so each episode has four unique characters, and we follow ah, their see. stories. Interesting. Yeah. Are you releasing these episodically? Uh, no, all, no all it's with, all in one. Yeah. It's all in one package. Yeah. I see. Very cool. So is this set in the world of the movie? Yes, in the universe. In the universe of the, the, universe of the yes, movie. Yes, yeah. exactly. Interesting. And so when we, when we start off with, with chapter one, mm -hmm. has the outbreak uh, already occurred? Yeah. Where, where, do we, where do we pick things up? So uh, the New York level we're demoing, we're, we're, we're looking at four survivors who've been looking for scraps of food and water for about four months. And by the time we get to them, they're stuck on top of a skyscraper in New York City. Um, so New York is completely obliterated. We've got... S uh, swarms of zombies pouring down the streets of Manhattan. Um, and uh, the episodes in Moscow and Jerusalem take place at different time periods. So we get an overall picture of the war. And this is the New York yes. episode we're seeing yeah, here. Yeah. So this is the basic kind of zombie combat you can yeah. expect from the game. So a zombie uh, shooter. Yeah, co exactly. Third-person co-op zombie shooter. What we've done with the game is rather than go down the kind of scavenging for a couple of shotgun cartridges, you know, yeah using a baseball bat the rest of the time. Yeah. We've gone for a game that's just about satisfaction. Okay. So we've got plenty of weapons. We've got 25 different weapons at the moment. Shotguns, assault rifles, SMGs, crossbows, something for everyone. And we've got heavy weapons like grenade launchers, rocket launchers, um, 50 caliber machine okay. guns. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just about gunning down massive numbers of zombies. Yeah. So it's built for co-op. What, yeah. what if I'm playing by myself? How does you it can work play there? on your own. You've got to, the rest of the characters will be taken over by AI. So they're always yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can pick which uh, any of the four characters to be. Uh, yeah, you can. Right. So you can only have one character each. So right. you take the role of one of these people in the story. Um, and uh, with each episode, you're going to take on new characters. Uh, you'll play through it once as a story mode, and then you unlock everything, and then you can just pick and choose where you want to play. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Right in. But it's also got character progression. So okay. what you'll do is uh, you'll choose a class, mm. and then you'll start to work on that class. You'll gain experience, build up a skill tree, uh, abilities, all that sure. kind of stuff. Does each character represent a different class? Uh, no. no. So you no. Could, the good thing is you can actually choose a class that you want to be, depending on your play style, and that class stays with you. Mm. So whoever you play, you take it with you through the stories, basically. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, uh, it's set in the, uh, the, the universe of the movie. Yeah. Where there's some very iconic imagery yeah. from that movie of zombies like just piling up on top yeah. of each other. Is that yeah, something yeah. you tried to work into the game? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we've, worked, uh, we've created our own engine for the game. It's called the Swarm Engine, appropriately. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll see uh, in the shot now, you can just make out in the distance one of the swarms uh, pouring down the streets there. So what we've done is we created physics for these zombies. So when you're facing 500 enemies, they're not just 500 individuals. They behave as a group. Hmm. Um, and so it means that depending on how you're playing, they're going to respond very differently to you. Hmm. Um, they'll try and pyramid up the walls to get to you. They'll climb okay. on top of each other. They flow over obstacles. If some of the zombies fall down, the others just kind of flow over the top of them. Sure. Um, and the, Every gaming experience, each time you play the level, you're going to have a slightly different experience yeah, because cool. of that. Yeah. So you've got four, char four characters trying to survive, mowing yes. down tons of zombies. Are there any other NPCs that they'll encounter? Are there, yep. are there other humans around? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you'll encounter other humans along the way. Um, 
uh, all kinds of different people, from military generals to crazy train drivers and all yeah. sorts. Okay. Like I said, the story is really important. So each of these characters have a backstory. They all have a purpose um, because we feel like story is that element that really draws you in. You know, it gives you something to immerse yourself in. So everybody's different, and we also like the idea of, of ordinary people trying to survive in this world. You sure. know, what are the things that help them to survive? Was it intelligence, toughness? Yeah. I mean, just the ability to hold it together when you've got bodies everywhere is... Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what are the classes that you'll have available to choose from? I can't talk about that at the moment, okay. but uh, it's a okay. good selection. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just there we were seeing some of the, the piles and yeah. the masses of, exactly. of bodies you got on there. Is, is, is 500, you mentioned 500. Yeah. Is that literally the, like the Genuinely, cap? Genuinely, yeah, 500. So the, what you're seeing at the moment is... Yeah. Uh, Climbing up the walls. This yeah. is an action that will take... They will do anything to get to you because zombies feel no fear. So they will climb up the walls on top of each other. They'll throw themselves from the rooftops to get to you. They'll run through fire. Um, and that, that brings me to the kind of the next stage of the gameplay, which is that there are certain areas in a level where you have the opportunity to build a defense. Okay. And so depending on how you're playing the game, it responds to you and gives you a selection of different defense kits. You can then, it's a limited number, so you've got to decide how you want to use them to reinforce your position. Mm. You might get barbed wire fences, you might get electrified fences, uh, 50 caliber machine gun turrets, uh, auto sentry turrets. Yeah. And you've got to choose how you want to put them down to build your defense, and then you just have to hold on. And those are like a key, key moments in the chapter? Yeah, absolutely. And they're different for each time. So the atrium you're looking at now, uh, or we're looking at, that's, uh, that's one of the, the, the most basic systems. Right? It's like uh, just a wave of zombies coming down the street. They climb inside there, mm -hmm. and they pour up these different channels. So you have to decide whether to place your defenses on the left and build, they'll build a kill zone on the right. Um, and then we have levels like in Moscow where you're in the midst of a frozen river outside the Kremlin yeah. with nothing to defend yourself and you're just holding on. So are they setting up defenses here? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's like uh, you can lay down. She's putting down claymore mines. Mm. Uh, he's grabbing a defense kit now, putting down barbed wire. If you're really good at the game, it's going to give you barbed wire fences. If okay. you're struggling, you might get a couple of auto turrets. And the game just automatically decides yeah. it's <laughs> what you need. It's trying to give you a good experience. Okay. So it never wants it to be too easy, but it doesn't want to kill you either. You know, yeah. Just to uh, give you a challenge. And if your defenses don't hold, well, then you just have to try it again and try a different little They'll get through layout. your defenses, yeah. yeah. So you, that's when the heavy weapons come in. You'd be grabbing yes. grenade launchers and rocket launchers. There we see uh, the zombies yeah. just throwing themselves off buildings. They're no concern for their personal safety whatsoever, yeah. yeah. Well, they're like toddlers that way. Yes, exactly, <laughs> yeah. So among all these like swarms of zombies, are you, are you designing uh, like special types of zombies oh, and yeah. archetypes? Like yeah, so we have a, a nice selection of special zombies as well. So okay. you've got big heavies that'll grab you up and smash you into yeah. the floor. And because it's built for four-player co-op, you need another player to get you out of that situation. Yeah. So it encourages you to stay together. Uh, we've got uh, toxic zombies, creepy zombies, we've got screamers who bring okay. in the masses. Yeah. So I, I imagine since all the, the four players is designed for co-op, uh -huh. probably those main characters can't be turned into a zombie, or, or can't well, they? Well, they can't well. be turned, but if you die, uh, uh, the logic follows that your corpse is reanimated and okay. goes chasing after your fellow players before you respawn. Is that, so that's what happens? Yeah. Uh, but so... The, the player will respawn, but yeah. then their, their, their body bodies. will be running oh, around. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's a nice little touch. Yeah. Uh, so how long? Three chapters. Yep. Three episodes. Do you have like a ballpark of how long you imagine it, it, it'll take to play through each one? Yeah, well, each episode seems to take, each chapter takes around 20 minutes to play on a regular difficulty. Okay. Um, so that's an hour per episode. It's three hours for the, for the basic run through. Yeah. But the, the game is built for replayability. So, as I said, depending on how you play each time, it's going to feel very different. We've been demoing it for the last three days, and every single playthrough has yielded something different. You know, yeah. we'll get a ton of special zombies suddenly get spawned, and they have to battle their way through that. Um, sometimes the, this is the most basic uh, defense uh, level that we've got, the New York one, which okay. is the one we're demoing. But there are some really complex ones. So every time you play, you're going to get a slightly different experience. 
Yeah, we're seeing lots of zombies. And a lot of blood. Of, yeah, a lot, a lot of, limbs. of blood. Yeah. yeah, it's all in so there. You can, you can, there's like dismemberment and oh, yeah. all of that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they like, are, is it the type of zombie where you, if you destroy their head, they're down? Yeah, if, the if best you've got a good headshot, headshot, they're out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, you can just pummel them until they go down. Okay. Uh, but they will crawl around on the floor after you as well. And uh, as for the settings, as you can see, we really wanted to be as, as truthful as we could. It's a, it's a very, you know, the game is of a serious tone. It yeah. has light-hearted elements, but we've, like, we've gone for the movie experience. Mm. Um, you can see New York City's completely fallen, um, and we're just trying to get out. Yeah, I, I, the, the sequel, the real movie sequel to World War Z, seems to be, like, taking a long time. So yeah. this, this is almost like an opportunity for you to yeah. sort of extend the world of, of, of the movie World War Z, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If you like the movie, uh, you're going to love this. Uh, and the thing is, like I said, we've gone our own direction, so it's different characters, mm -hmm. different settings, so you can, you, know, you can continue to explore the universe of World War Z. And the characters are different in each episode? Yeah. Is that right? So you've yeah, got yeah, yeah. 12 characters exactly. that you come up with. Yeah. There's also, we're not demoing it at E3 yet, mm -hmm. but uh, there's another mode, okay. um, which is going to be more PvP-based. So PvP mode? Yeah, yeah. Players as zombies? Or no, players and players and zombies. Players and players and zombies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They should probably just work together and to fight uh, the zombies. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it depends <laughs> on the situation. Sometimes you need each other and sometimes you don't. Yeah? So, yeah. yeah. True. Things will definitely go sideways yeah. in the zombie yeah, yeah. apocalypse. Uh, you mentioned a normal difficulty. Yeah. What are you think, thinking for different difficulty modes? Just we have five levels of difficulty. Okay. And as you get up into the top there, it becomes really important to uh, build your team around these different classes so that you have enough of each type uh, to be able to handle it. Otherwise, you just can't get through the level. I see. It's that the good thing is it's an arcade shooter. You know, it's yeah. about satisfaction. The weapons feel good to use. There's something for everybody, shotguns, rifles, crossbows. Um, but it's also a thinking person's game. So it's not just like blasting everything. You also have to decide how you want to take on these hordes. So what's the ultimate goal of, of this scenario, the, the New York chapter, the New York level? What, what are they trying to do, get to a safe, safe point? To give you an idea, without uh, spoiling it, sure. it's four people who are just trying to get out of the city. Yeah. Just, there's, there's nothing left for them in the city. They've run out of food and water. If they don't leave, they're going to die. Gotcha. But they're also caught up in a kind of um, military action that's happening at the same time. OK. Yeah, but they're just normal people trying to get out. Sure. Uh, you mentioned there's going to be several different types of zombies. Yes. You're working in uh, either boss fights or at least like climactic encounter big yeah. moments. So the swarms are, are the bosses, really. Yeah. And each yeah. level has a unique uh, swarm encounter. Um, so uh, that's what brings the variety to the different levels. You know, like I said, this is the straightforward one, the atrium fight. But we have the Moscow River. We have underground bunkers. We have all kinds of crazy stuff. Is this, that's a zombie in like yeah. full armor in there? So that's, that's the bull, yeah. So okay. we went with the idea that it's a heavily armored soldier who's been infected and, yeah. and he doesn't go down without a fight. I mean, it's a, when we play it, you, somebody just screams, bull, and everybody yeah. turns around. You just have to lay him down. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. So when are we going to get to play World War Z? 2019. Next year. And it's going to be on Xbox One, PS4, and uh, PC. Very cool. Yeah. Exciting. Thank you so much for coming My by. My pleasure. Stage. Yeah, thanks for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on my coverage for E3 2018. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me all week. E3 is pretty fun. Let's do this all again next year. I will see you guys very soon over on IGN.com. Take care.